Look at you. <laughs> ah, yes. Good morning. So today is Tuesday, the 19th of March. And as you can see, winter has returned. <laughs> A week ago, we were in the 50s. And this week, we're not going to break freezing. So, yes. But the shoulder seasons do tend to be temperamental, <laughs> of course. So, one thing I, I know I've said, I don't mind winter. I don't mind the snow. I actually like how quiet it is. So, when I was a runner, I used to love running on fresh snow, just like running on little pillows. <laughs> and just the so nice and gentle. It's gotta be the right kind though. You don't want the kind where you're slipping and sliding. Huh. I don't know if you can see the shadows from the snowflakes on the ground. It's kind of neat. Ah, but yes, today is the 19th of March, and the lock is set to open this Friday. And I went over the International Bridge last night and decided to take a little peek over into the Polock. I noticed that it was full of water. So I figured they'd be filling it. I wasn't quite sure when. But as I get up here a little bit further, I'll show you all the equipment that just kind of appeared. <laughs> it was all here in January. Then it all vanished, <laughs> I'm sure, down into the lock. And then it all reappeared again just uh, over the weekend. So I had a hunch maybe watering it. I didn't know if it'd be, you know, until today. I mean, of course, I have no idea as to their timeline. Here, let's uh, poke this in here. Argo's always pulling on me. So all of this, see the little skid steer, little booms, and all that. All those, I'm pretty sure, were down in the locks and generators, air compressors, and the like. So, I see we have just a little bit of ice here. That wasn't there. But, uh, there's not really any ice. Of course, we can't see from here, but the only ice that I saw was pretty much under the bridge um, until about, ooh, maybe a hundred yards west of that bull nose. You can't see it now, but you know, the bull nose between the Poe and the Maclocks. Because there's no water flow over there, of course. And so that was about the only ice I saw excepting for, of course, the uh, the ice and the, the Canadian Canal and their lock over there. Uh, let's see if I can... Maybe through here... We can zoom in. Maybe you can kind of see the line of the ice. Yeah, you can see it. That white up there, that's ice. And it extends uh, 100, 150 yards on the other side of the train bridge. And that's it. Apart from this bit of new, new ice we have right here. I quit smacking my camera against the fence. So yes, the snowy Sioux is back just in time for winter to end. <laughs> Technically, but... You know, spring has been barging in on winter's turf here for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised to see winter 
kind of take this time getting out of here. <laughs> I've been trying to uh, get better at walking smoothly, if that's the thing. <laughs> I like using this camera, especially in the low light. But the stabilization is pretty poor. So, you know, keep trying to do better, trying to do better. Right, see, still no one's claimed that glove. It's been sitting there for a couple days. It's still there. I don't know if I mentioned, but this Mac building here, they uh, had a, like a ceremony because a couple of the apartments are done upstairs and they're really nice. They call them luxury apartments. And I can see why, because they're really nice. So it's good to see those old buildings being used instead of just torn down, you know? One of the things I like about this area so much is that there's so much history here. Hmm. That. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, lock opens on Friday. I'm gonna plan to be there. I believe Heidi from Streamtime Live is gonna be here. And uh, of course Argo won't be there for the opening because well, dogs aren't allowed. And uh, yeah, make a little video, see what I can do. And then the uh, shipping season begins. Um, there's all the speculation about who the first ship is going to be. I have a hunch. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I want to share it just yet. I guess I'll, I'll put the hunch at the end. So just in case anyone's curious. But I need to, uh, just really quickly... Pick this up. Because Argo, uh... Well, found a spot to do his thing. So give me... Give me just a moment. You okay, dog? <laughs> All right. Ah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. My, my hunch. My theory for who is going to be the first ship through the lock. A second. Let me dispose of that. There we go. So, <laughs> so last week, week before last, I heard on the radio, the, uh, I think it was the Anglian lady, could be misremembering, but they went and grabbed the Iron Master barge, and when they did, they told Sioux Traffic they wanted to be in line to get through the lock when it opens. So, <laughs> if, if they so decided to, they could easily be the first ship through because they're just across the river and <laughs> they would have all the time in the world just about to make ready and get tied up and move across and be in line so that's kind of my hunch we will see <laughs> we will see of course it's all speculation all the ships are uh, doing their fit out now and uh Getting ready to uh, sally forth. Yes, sally forth. I saw the Alpina is already sailing around, so I keep hoping. I hope they come up here. I'd love to see them during the day. But that's enough rambling. <laughs> so hopefully you're staying warm here at almost the end of spring. And uh, yeah, we'll be back, of course. Uh, next video may have ships in it, maybe. And I uh, forgot what I was going to say after that. So, <laughs> take care. <laughs> we will be back. Right, dog? Yes, he did it.